Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and welcome back to another episode of Chem Strike Saturday. Chem Strike Saturday, of course, is a weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in Chem Strikes. And I do my best to talk about the Chem Strike and break it down, and at the end of the video, I will put a link to the person that sent me in the Chem Strikes channel, as well as in the video description, you can find links to that person's channel to hopefully help them grow a bit here on YouTube. This one's pretty good. It was sent in by a guy named a la YouTube, and what we got going on here is at the very beginning, it's like, oh my goodness, and, you know, it's like a running gun just taking everybody out you know real quick twitch reflexes that kind of thing but he revisits a tried and true strategy that was explained here on chem strike saturday about a month ago about a month ago we had an m27 iar chem strike on this exact same map playing domination just like this it was sent in by a guy named samster completely different person right and he showed off his strategy where basically you go here to the strip club and you just kind of shoot fish in a barrel as they come from behind the strip club where he is right now. As well as when they come initially out of the strip club down that little alleyway. And we find ourselves another chem strike here where someone's doing the exact same strategy. You know, he's kind of going back and forth right here shooting a guy behind, behind the strip club. And now he's looking down the alley up in front of the strip club. It's a fantastic overall strategy that I kind of want to share again because maybe people didn't catch the previous one. This really works. I've tried it. I've done it myself in Call of Duty Ghost. I've just never gotten a chem strike doing it. I always kind of got pooped on a little bit. Maybe it's because I stayed there too long, which is exactly what Ala does not do in this video. As you can see, instead of going just back and forth like Samster did in his chem strike video, he decides just to you know take the initiative and actually go inside of the strip club, go upstairs, clear it out a little bit, and as well is just kind of look around and try and take people out you see this guy coming upstairs he takes some pop shots he's going to turn the corner and getting him there see instead of staying just back and forth he decides to go inside which i think kind of further expands the entire idea and the strategy of going back and forth here when you have the enemy team at the a flag on the map octane now we talked about it many times i've done a bunch of different videos myself on octane a couple chem strikes included as well as a bunch of different episodes here on chem strike saturday on the map Octane, and oh, every time I'm like, you know what, guys, I'm telling you, in my experience, the best place to have the enemy team is at the C flag. It's just the best place to have them. But we found that it's actually not the worst thing in the world to have the enemy team at the A flag either. So it turns out that Octane is probably one of the better domination maps if you have a good team. If you have a good team, of course, if you're a good player, you can get some high kill streaks. Now, not every game has to actually end in a chem strike, right? You don't always need to go and get chem strikes. But when you do get a chem strike, which he picks up right there by taking that guy off C flag, it's pretty good. But I think Octane is one of the, the, the gems of Call of Duty Ghosts. I think it's one of those maps where you can really dominate the enemy team. If you know the map well, there are set strategies and set things you can do on this map that will just completely shut down the enemy team and make it really hard for them to do anything, which I don't think can be said about a lot of the maps in Call of Duty Ghost. So Octane, two thumbs up, good map here. We're going to fast forward here towards the end of the gameplay. He's going to pick up that kill there on the C flag. By the way, that was like a 2 minute and 40 second long chem strike, somewhere in there, probably roughly 3 minutes, I'm just going to call it. Just a very good overall chem strike. I liked it. I liked it very much. And thank you to all of for sending it in here for Chem Strike Saturday. The final score we caught right there was actually 50 and 9. Pretty good. 50 and 9. That's over a 5k AD with the chem strike. Fantastic overall gameplay. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Chem Strike Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. If you guys like to send in your guys' chem strikes for next week's episode of Chem Strike Saturday, everything you guys need to see is on your screen right now. No commentary, no color correction, disable resample if you record at 30 frames per second because ghost things kind of sucks, right? It really does. Upload to YouTube as unlisted and send it to me. If you guys like to check out Ala, there's going to be a link in the description to his YouTube channel. He's also a very new YouTuber, so new that he doesn't really have a channel URL yet. It's mostly just a bunch of numbers and letters and stuff. So check the description. There's going to be a link to his channel from there. Just started posting like literally in the past few days. But it has some pretty good gameplay. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of Chem Strike Saturday. If you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.